and today we're going to be showing you how to make a child's face mask. Um, first we're going to start with casting on five rows of waste yarn. Just make sure it is different color than your main yarn. Sorry about the noise in the background. The dogs decided they wanted to play right now. Okay, sorry about that. I hope I got them to be quiet. So we're going to put the yarn around the first hook here. Uh, make sure that it's attached. Now we're going to go uh, under the hook and then we're going to go around and then in front and around. This is the only row that we're going to do it this way. Make sure your gate is closed. In front, behind, in front, behind, front, behind, so on and so on. Like I said, this is the only row we're going to be doing this on. And now that we're back to the beginning, we're going to be going every row um, normally. Make sure that this is, that was our starting one. Open the gate, put the yarn in, close the gate. Make sure the gate is closed. All right. Now, the first row, we're going to go slow. And with the smaller machine, it likes to stick a little bit on the first row. But we're going to go slow to make sure that every single one catches. See how I'm sticking a little bit? But by the second row, it'll be so much easier. Alrighty. And there. Okay. So we're back to the beginning. Now we're going to do five total. And I cut out the background noise so you didn't get uh, disoriented. All right. Okay, once we get the five rows, and right there. Okay, back to the beginning. We're going to cut our waste yarn. Open the gate. Lay it down next to, not this in between this one and this one. Just like so. Make sure it's under that hook. Because we're going to tie it loosely to the main yarn. Which now, we're going to add the main yarn. We're going to cast on 40 rows of this color. We're laying it right where we dropped our waist yarn. Close the gate. Okay, now make sure that it uh, goes under this hook. And this is where I tie them very loosely. And my fingers don't want to work today, so I kind of fiddle with, the, with it. It's coming up a little bit, so I try and grab it and hold it down. Okay, so the hook grabbed it. Right there. And then I'm going to let go of this. It's sticking up a little, so I'm going to go from underneath, pull it down. All right. So I'm just pulling it down, making sure it stays and out of the way. Okay, now I'm just resetting my counter. Now we're going to do 40 rows of this waist. Uh, I'm sorry, main color. A little brain fart there. Do the first row with you. You go slow. And we're back to the beginning. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do 39 more rows. Now I don't want you to get uh, seasick or, or spinny sick. So I'm going to pause it here. And I'll meet up with you when I get to the 40. All right, now we are coming up on to our 40th row right here. We're back to the beginning uh, hook. Okay, so we're going to cut our main yarn. And we're going to put it into the middle of our project for now. Now we're going to cast on five rows of waste yarn. Again, this is to end the project. Okay, any color, 
as long as it's different from your main color same way put it where we ended with the previous yarn it's under this hook I'm gonna make sure it catches and I'm gonna just make a quick little tie on there I'm sorry about the light reflecting off the white yarn I didn't even think of it as I was getting everything ready but um, first one I go a little slow I'm pulling out a little extra yarn here and then we just do five rows of this waist yarn it goes it goes by pretty quick and done okay we ended on the same hook again all right cut the yarn put it in the middle close the gate Make sure that's closed okay now we're going to take our project off all the hooks now the live stitches are in the waist yarn so we don't have to worry about it unraveling and we just keep winding no yarn is making any new stitches so now it's going to pop off our hooks see it's popping off we just let it keep going just like that And ta -da. Okay, now for the magic to begin. Alright, let me get these <laughs> out of the way. I, I had to take the machine off the table and yeah. Now I'm sorry the lighting might change a little bit. It got darker. We're just going through the, um, the storm that we just had with the snow and the ice. And the lighting is going to be a little wacky. But all right, so this is the 40 rows of the main with the waist yarn. Yeah, see how the lighting is changing? I'm so sorry. I notice it. Um, yeah. Give me a second. Give me a second. I know it's bright. Nope, that book's not covering it. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm going to try to get the glare off of this desk. I'm just looking around to see what I could grab. Alright, so I have a little, yes, a white towel. Ah, but it's a little better. I'm so sorry. I should have grabbed the darker one. But, okay. So I turned off uh, the main light. I hope this is better. So just like a regular closure, we're going to have um, the this loose strands here on our left hand side if you are righty and then they're going to be on the left if you're lefty. Um, yeah, so basically what we're doing is we're going to be closing with the crochet hook but before we do, we need the straps that go around the ears. So, any color, doesn't matter. I chose the white to match the mask itself. Oh, I hope you can see it now. <laughs> you make a slip stitch here. Okay, dogs might bark and I apologize. All right, I hope they don't bark. <laughs> um, so the hook that we're using, oh, come on, lighting. Come on, you can do it. Ah, let's try it this way. Well, we're using a 4.5 millimeter. Come on, there it is, okay. I'll get this lighting right one day. But we're gonna insert our hook and we're going to make 25 chains or depending on how far you want it to go out this is for a little child or a toddler um, I used 25 chains you're more than welcome to use less uh, even 20 or 18 here we go Oh 
almost there okay now make sure that your work is not tangled but uh, I'm gonna keep going here three four and five okay 25 so make sure it's not tangled and we're going to slip stitch to join yeah that looks about right right into there sorry about the uh, the paint and, and the whatnot on my hands I was painting earlier and I couldn't get it all off but we're just gonna slip stitch to join and then we're going to chain one now we're gonna cut this yarn and pull it through and then pull it tight Now, just to be on the safe side because it does you're going to be pulling it as it goes around the ears I'm going to tie it two or three times would would suffice because we're we can hide it um, so we don't need the strands in the end I'm just going to tie it again there we go and all right so these are too long i'm going to cut it boop right there and throw those out we're going to be hiding that inside the mask itself there we go so now we need two of these and i will meet up with you after we have the second one okay so now we have two now here comes now, I wouldn't say the tricky part, but it's it's kind of cool. I'm just making sure I got everything I need and the the lighting is right. Switching it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I got the lighting right. So I have the loose strands on my left. sure they're all out here righty the loose ones are on the left lefty they're on the right but we're going to start over here and we're going to slip this in it's gonna seem a little hard at first but I promise it is not we're going to start with these three so we go into here hold that Let's go a little closer so you can see it. Okay. And we go pick this one up. And we're going to slip stitch into the first one. Hold this loop. Go into this one. And pull through that one. Alright, now hold it. And then we're going to put our little ear loops <laughs> into the hole here. Now we're going to stretch it closest to us to the right side but just make sure that we're grabbing all of these white loops so this otherwise you're going to have drop stitches like that and then after these two this is staying back so you just keep going make sure that's in there sorry there's a truck or something going by And then we just crochet it up, making sure that the earpiece stays in there and that we catch all the loops so we don't have any drop stitches. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the whole process of this side just so you can see all of it happening and that there's no um what's the word is this two no that's one okay uh no misunderstandings of how to close up the sides now we will be doing the second side as well in the same fashion 
Let me just pull it through. Sometimes they get a little tight. It's all the angle uh, with, the, with the hook. Don't be afraid to twist them and yank them. Okay. Now a little reminder, when you use the waist yarn, when you're putting on, one side is harder to get off and one side is easier to get off. You can cut them off if you want to. I like to reuse them. But here we are again. Um, okay, so that's stuck in there. Now we got to get this side stuck in there. Oops, I had the knot outside of the... Hmm, no problem. We're just going to grab a stitch marker. See, even I make boo-boos. All right, hold the stitch. Don't drop it. Put a stitch marker in there to hold it into place. All right. Now, we want that little knot inside. So we're just going to pull it. Stretch it out a little bit. Make sure that knot is going to be a little tough, but push that knot in there. Pull it. And ta-da! Okay, now the knot is not showing. All right. All good. All right, so I'm just checking to see how many stitches I have left before I pick it back up. I have one and two, and there's none over there. Okay. So we're going to carefully take the stitch marker off, hold the stitch, Gently put the crochet hook back onto the live stitch. All right. Um, I don't remember which side I ended on, so I'm just going to go this way. And it's locked in there. Okay. And we have one more over here. And another car is going by. You would think with the ice storm, people would not be driving on it, but oh well. All right. Now we go into this last stitch, untangle these that we tied together loosely, put the waist yarn over here, get it out of the way. Yeah, no more stitches. All right. Now we're going to make a chain and pull through and then pull it to make it tight. Ta-da! All right, those are locked into place. Now we get to pull the waist yarn off. Now this was the side that is easy. See, you just pull one and it comes right out. <laughs> I got it tangled because of the angle of the camera and, <laughs> and whatnot, but I made it work. <laughs> yeah, there we go okay so we just pull it and it's kind of cool they come right out I know I'm weird all right so now we have this little tail here we uh you just one of two ways you can use a darning needle or just pop your crochet hook in close to the corner come on up through the corner as close as you can doesn't have to be perfect yarn over well, that's a little too long so let's cut that a little bit right there's good okay yarn over and then just pull it through. Why aren't you working? Okay. Now I don't want to stretch it. So since the other side is open, haha. -ha, I go in, grab it, <coughs> sorry, and pull it into the middle. Ta da! Nobody's going to see it because it's. And then that got back out again. Hmm. 
that's okay. But now it is sealed. And there's one of your ear loops. So then we go to the other side and we do the same exact thing. Now I'm going to do it and then I'm going to show you the difference with the waste yarn taking it off. Puppy monkey baby. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, how the waste yarn is different to take it off. So I will meet you back when we're, and it's time to take off the waste yarn. Okay, so now that we're back to pulling out this waste yarn, this, you got to find the top row of it right here, and they are holding the live stitches. Because that was your uh, cast on. And you just go around and pull out that first row. After you get past this first row, they'll pop right off like they did on the first one. Okay. Just pull it on out. Sometimes, yeah, you have to cut it. You know, then you could just throw out that waste yarn. I try not to, so I'll take the minute and fiddle with it. Oh, I have one more loop here. There we go. And another car. Yeah, it's so busy today. I live on a main road. <laughs> All right, and see, and now it just pops right off. Once we got past uh, that first row, and helps if I pull the right strand, huh? I'll be okay. <laughs> yep. And there we go. Pull it out. And we're all done. Now we have the other ear. So now we have to um, put in our loose thread here. So what I'm going to do is take a darning needle. This way you get to see both types of ways of doing it. I'm sure there's more ways, but this is how I do it. Oh, and a little trick for you. If you have trouble um, threading these needles, fold a little bit of the yarn, push it down and wiggle, and it comes right up. Yeah, I learned that one day and I was like, oh, that is a game changer. <laughs> Instead of having to twist it and it whatnot, but yeah all right so you just put the needle in the corner go through the middle make sure it doesn't come out the back pull it up take the needle off and cut the yarn as close as you can but without cutting the project and then you stretch it back out so that way it goes in the middle and we are all done We now have our child size face mask. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed. Please hit subscribe, subscribe, and the like button.